Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olina and I'm a knitter from Norway and I'm really ready for summer to start soon. So while I wait, I've found some yarn that is from a summer top that I unraveled a month or so ago. And now I'm going to turn this back into a summer top, but hopefully a summer top that fits me a little better. I'm going to be making camisole number no. 5 by My Favorite Things Knitwear and I thought I'd take you with me on the process and hopefully while I'm making this the weather will be, get warmer because we're soon heading into June and it's still very very cold to be outside and sweater number no. 14 is the sweater I get the most use out of but I'm going to be making a summer top with this yarn. This is uh, Filcolana Merci, so it's 50% merino wool and 50% um, Egyptian, Egyptian cotton, I think. And this is in the color bluestone. So I'm going to be making a summer top and really manifesting that summer is going to come. So now I'm just going to cast on for this. And if you want to see the progress of me knitting up this summer top, just keep watching. I'm really really into this project now so I really just want to get back into knitting but here's a quick little update this is how far I've gotten so I'm just working on the increases on the front here so this is what we're working with kind of so I still have quite a few increases to go but I'm really loving how it's working up so far and I am really enjoying working on this project. This is my third day, I'm pretty sure, working on this project. But today is my first day being able to just focus all my attention on this project because I've cast off all other projects. So now this is what's getting all the attention and I'm loving putting all of my attention into this and I kind of hope I'll be able to finish the front today and maybe even connect these two in the back but it's worked up on three millimeter needles and I'm going to do quite a lot of increases still as you can see it doesn't exactly cover much right now so I still have quite a bit to go but I think my goal and kind of hope for today would be to finish this front piece but yeah I'm just working on that and really enjoying myself and today it's even sunny so I was knitting on this outside and just picturing being able to wear it outside so I'm really really excited to really work on this now so that's exactly what I'm going to go do and that was my quick little update See you in the next update.
another really quick update. This is how far I've gotten now. Um, so this is the front, which I finished yesterday and then I connected and did a few rounds yesterday and I've also been able to do a few rounds today. So as you can see, I have about that much left on the back before joining together. So my kind of big dream or what I would ideally be able to do today with this is to finish the back and then start on the neck and maybe even possibly connecting them so I can do the uh, armholes because after doing that I will be able to try it on and really see how it fits me and be able to see how long I'm, I want it to be and everything. So that's kind of my really big goal for today but I don't really think it's a goal I will be able to make but that's kind of what's next at least for this one. And I did just use up my first ball of yarn and I think that ball of yarn was the equ equ equivalent to a skein. So this is the pro, this is how far I got with one skein of Fulcorana Merci. But even though I just want to knit on this and get it done, all of my finished projects have kind of piled up so I have quite a few different things that I should finish and especially these two I have to weave in the ends and do the zipper on the zipper sweater and everything because these are going to be gifts for my sister and she is having her confirmation on Saturday and I need to be able to weave in all the ends and block it before then. So that's gonna be my main focus today and I'll just hope I will be able to, this, to do this fast enough so I, I will still have, still have some time to knit. But that's my quick little update. See you in the next one. Hey, hey. Another really quick update. I have gathered the front and the back to this camisole and as you can see I've also gotten in quite a few rounds knitting in the round. I just tried this on and I'll show a picture. I think this is turning out very nice and I'm very excited to continue working on it and hopefully get the neck and arms done soon so the look so it looks even better and more like it's supposed to when trying it on so you can gauge how it's going to look even better but this is my current how far I've gotten currently I'm on my third ball of yarn now so kind of my third skein and this is how far I've gotten there has not been a lot of knitting time these past few days but I'm hoping that today and the next few days will have more knitting time and hopefully I will either be able to do the neck or maybe this much on the body today so that I will be halfway on the full length but that was my little update See you in the next one.
another really quick update for this guy. I think this is going to be one of my last ones. I've added in the neck edge and I am working on picking up some stitches here for the first armhole and then I just have a few centimeters to go I think on the body maybe a bit more than a few I have to try it on again but I want to have both the arms done before I do that um, I would have hoped I would have gotten further by this point but I had my sister's confirmation so that whole day was spent celebrating with her and not really knitting and then after that my whole family has just been kind of under the weather and feeling a bit poorly so the energy I've had I have been putting into my son and keeping up with him because even though he ha also has been sick he, uh, his energy did not go down so I've spent all my energy <laughs> running after him but now we're all feeling a bit better so I'm going to be working on the armholes and the body and hopefully this will be done at least this week it's my birthday tomorrow so it would be a nice present to be able to finish this and maybe wear it but I think that's very wishful thinking but maybe that can be my birthday wish to have this that would be very fun and then I can do a birthday cast on as well if I finish this that would be fun I might do a birthday cast on anyways maybe I'll get yarn on, to, on my birthday and then I'll cast on with that but that's all for this project for now See you in the next and maybe final update. It's all finished. I actually finished it last night, but I finished it quite late last night. So I'm filming now and as you can see, it's all finished. It's a bit longer than this actually. It's like this. So it will fit any, any kind of length of a pant. Um, and I'm very happy about it. I think all the edges look really nice. I really like the double knitted edges. I think that the 2x2 two two ribbing is really flattering. And as you can see, I've not woven in the ends, but I really want to use this. Once I finished it, I just wanted to use it immediately. So I'm just 
pretending that I've woven in the ends and I, I said not woven in the ends I have of course not washed this yet but I don't know when I will do that because I just want to wear it and it's warm weather outside now so I'm going to wear it while we still have that and this is the scrap yarn or the yarn I have left from the top that I unraveled to make this so I have almost half of what I had left over this is a skein that my cat got into so it's lovely I used 136 grams of Fulcorana Merci to make this so that's a bit under three skeins and with all of this left over oh i think i can make something matching for my son as well because this is almost as much as i used to make this one so that's exciting but this project is now all done and i cannot wait to wear it all summer i think this is definitely going to be one of my most worn pieces this summer because I can feel that it's quite warm but also the 50% cotton makes it so it's not too warm and sweaty so I'm really enjoying this and I'm really enjoying that it has quite a high neckline as well because uh, the other summer top that I have has quite a low, low neckline but I'm really enjoying it being so high but that's really all for this top and now I'll just enjoy it for the rest of summer. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me more, please leave a like or comment. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe. Bye!